sorry. This is Mary Van Oak's Guide to Dating, Mary Van Oak, by Mary Van Oak, Volume 1. Number 1. Call me if I give you my number. That probably means that I like you and you shouldn't feel scared about calling me. We should totally hang out. What? Boom. Number two. Do not email me or MySpace message me and tell me how hot I am. Oh, my ass is so hot. I make me so wet. Titties. I already know how freaking hot and delicious I am. Number three. Work on the foreplay, fellas. I don't care if you're 50 days sober and don't know how to act around women. I never want to hear, let's make out. Want to have sex? Number four, don't be a prude. Did she just talk about her vagina being wet? Or an asshole? This is all about the girl, isn't it? Me about to come. What an ass. Ugh. Number five, ask me some questions. Me, 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 because I hardly get asked out, but if you want to go it to go anywhere, we have to know the same age references. Like, if I never saw the Where's the Beef commercial, you're probably too old for me. Number seven, don't be intimidated by how smart and funny and beautiful and sexy and amazing I am. Or how this scene makes me look like a bitch that's too picky. Sexy, funny, smart, judgmental. Number eight, get over your insecurities. I don't care if you're uncircumcised, bald, short, hairy, skinny, a virgin, ugly, fat, stupid, or kind of gay. I don't care. I love all forms of cock. Number nine, I love big cock. But I'm not going to leave you when I see your thin, small, crooked dick, okay? Me. Small dick. I'll suck it and make you feel like you have that testicle you're missing. And number 10. Do not be a Charles Bukowski fan! But do be a John Fonte fan, but not a Dan Fonte fan. Acid us. Yay! Chump change. Boo. You can like Hemingway, but please don't be a Hemingway. I am so manly. Let's go fishing and sleep with a rod between us or maybe a rifle. That's a that's kind of like a lit major joke, sorry. You know, I shouldn't say that because I still haven't read Bukowski. What I kinda of mean to say is number eleven, do not fantasize about a life similar to a movie or a book. Especially if that movie is leaving Las Vegas. Wow, I totally want to fall in love with a hooker and die drunk. How romantic. Self-destruction isn't glorious or beautiful. Which also leads to number 12. Don't call yourself an artist or a writer if you don't write or make art. I'm an artist. I go to Burning Man. But please be passionate. This is number 13. About something, anything. Just be as passionate as I am in what I do. Fish, radio airplanes, the CIA, Star Wars, karaoke, pointless theory, the brain. Number 14. Support me in what I do. You don't have to like comedy or even go to my shows. Just be excited for me. Pat knows what wants me to open for him. Did you just 
say something? Number 15. Don't ask me to shave my back. Can you shave this? Number 16. Love everything about me. I'm special. Number 17. Don't get googly eyed for suicide girl wannabes. Tattoos and dried dyed hair is so trendy. It's phony. They're just as materialistic and image conscious as the San Jose women I see that, that have the Dior glasses and chunk highlights and fake tits. Dyed funky hair, lip piercing, full arm sleeves, big tits. Okay, I'm just jealous. Number 18 is censored. I wrote B. Bradley Weinberg of it. Forget about it. That guy hates me. Oh. Actually, the scene makes me look like I have standards. But I, I don't. Thanks for listening.